start over then. All right, take two. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Dalek Mod, guys. Hi, I'm professional streamer boy slash YouTube boy, Wild Sparrow here. We're going to do a guided tour. We have some jack-o'-lanterns, and we have our pumpkin farm that we did uh, in between uh, streams. We have our chicken exploitation coop. I've also added... I've also added a sheep and also cows and because it is spooky season there's some jack-o'-lanterns spread about the area if you'll notice because it is spooky season sheeps and cows right um, but of course this wouldn't be a Doctor Who episode without a target or a Dalek mod episode without a target rather that's our TARDIS. It is a lovely TARDIS. It is a pretty TARDIS. It is the best TARDIS on this map. There is no TARDIS like it, ever. It's also pretty. On the inside, see? Here's sexy. She is sexy, yes. We're gonna be flying around in our TARDIS today, guys. I hope you're ready for that. I hope you're all ready for that. You grew up on McCoy. The little bits and pieces I've seen of McCoy were, were really good. The original um, human nature story was written uh, with McCoy. You know, the family of blood story. That was written with McCoy originally. Because it was during the, the, the wilderness years, if you didn't know. The wilderness years, if you don't know, are the years that Doctor Who was off the air. So, 1989 to 2005. Right, so we made the flight panel for our TARDIS. Eccleston was a good start. Eccleston was really good. A lot of people sleep on him and skip season, uh, Series 1, and that's so unfair because he did a really good job with it. Right, guys, we are searching for a... Um, uh, Capaldi slander will not do. I'm not slandering. I'm just spitting facts, you know. All 13. <laughs> Have they switched to one episode? No, they're usually like they they have one episode plots too, uh, two now, but they they do two parters, uh, more often than not. Or at least where I dropped off, I have not kept up since uh, Capaldi re regenerated. Actually, no, that's a lie. I lie. Um, Whitaker's stories have have all been uh one episode plots, or for for most part so the 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 trend was two parters and capaldi even weaved the uh, moffat uh, weaved capaldi stories so well that they sometimes felt like three and four parters and you usually have the series arc as well oh, might beat me to that and you usually have the series arc as well so so for series one they had the bad wolf arc uh and for series four yeah the monks was like a four parter wasn't it but like it didn't, it didn't feel like they were meant to be a four-parter. They they just weaved so well into each other that they just became a four-parter. Is that a temple? Pop 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 temple. I feel that the first season for most of the modern doctors hasn't been great. Yeah, I d that's the thing. Uh, season two for for tenant. Uh, it was it was kind of wibbly wobbly for me, season two for Tenant. Uh, one of your top finales is uh, Doomsday, right? That's that's the one from season two where Rose gets, yeah. Do I have a pickaxe? I do not. Yeah, the Battle of Canary Wharf. Yeah, I remember that. I I I got it. I got to tell you, I didn't. I, I didn't enjoy season two of uh, uh or yeah series two of Doctor Who. Oh, so Tenants first, as much as I enjoyed um, Eccleston's only. <laughs> I just to me it felt better? Question mark. Okay, hold on. Smith had the same issue. His first season felt like super fairy tale like. 
the Dalek and Cyberman first meet. Now that's a classic scene, though. That's like that. You can't compare that to anything, though. Like the Dalek sassing the Cyberman. Oh, what a scene! Hey, look, a bunny. I need a pickaxe. Um, real quick. How many are you? Four. <laughs> Dalek just straight up just says four. And does not back down. Like he knows four Daleks are more than enough. Oh, oh! Look at that! I look. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Look at that. That's interesting. I didn't know that happened. If I opened the inventory. <laughs> Looking good. I don't know. I feel kind of boxed in. The problem with it is she has to be the one to pick up a lot of, of the reset. The thing is, the reset came into well into her second series. Like, Whitaker can only do so much with the bad writing she gets. And she gets a lot of bad writing. Like, let's, yeah, let, it's best not to get started on fucking Chibnall ruining the show. The writing's terrible. Like, a lot of people would complain about Moffat. I've seen people online complain about Moffat. I like, Moffat was, like, the best writer compared to Chibnall. Moffat could get a little bit too caught up in writing himself into a corner and making things a little too wibbly wobbly. But he didn't do a fucking timeless child, did he? Series 10 is the best of New Who. It's great. It's not the best. Moffat has, has, has his issues. Davies has it. Yeah. Davies had his issues too. That's the thing. Like <laughs> My two favorite stories from the Davis era aren't Davis stories that's weird yeah every writer has their issues thing is with uh, with Chibnall I'm struggling to find the good side I'm I'm struggling to find the upside with <laughs> With Chibnall's writing here. Really, truly. Shakespeare relies too much on murder. Hello. I'm the doctor. And I have a sword. Don't kill me. Do I have any fish fingers in custard? Your favorite who story, I believe, was written by Gammon. Gammon, so that would have been um, the doctor's wife. Right? Gaiman made the doctor's wife, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Did I bring a pick? No, but I made... I, I, br I, br I brought wood. The doctor's wife, yeah. Moffat is way too... Look at my writing. Isn't it clever? Single episode Moffat is great, but not the best showrunner. I, I liked... Um, I liked the River Song uh, concept and, and her arc. Um... I feel that um, Clara, the concept of Clara being spread across the Doctor's timeline could have been more obvious rather than just having Oswin and then Victorian Clara as the two Claras that we meet. Um, Heaven Sent is my favorite. Oh, Heaven Sent is beautiful. Um, Heaven Sent is... I just fucked up. Heaven Sent is amazingly beautiful. Um, uh, but yeah, Clara's arc as, uh, you know, she was born to save the Doctor. The, the whole thing that she was spread across this timeline. I feel they could have done so much more with that rather than just Victorian Clara and Oswin and have her actually um, uh, pop up in multiple events. But because they didn't, it just ended up being weak. 
in a way. If you know what I mean. They miss an opportunity to tie in the Rani. A lot of people just want to see like the Rani and the Valiards come back. And I think that's really unnecessary. Um, because if they do bring back the Valiard, everybody will just be disappointed that it, it, it wasn't brought back the way they expected him to be brought back. And that's going to happen no matter how they bring him back. You wish it wasn't people's default plan for a reveal? Yeah. Like when Ruth being the Valyard. River Song was, was brilliant. I loved uh, River Song from the moment she was introduced in, uh, in the library, which is one of my favorite uh, stories, like Doctor Who stories. I... Um, Okay, let me let me drop off stuff. Um, I'll leave the terracotta. I'm gonna leave this. Uh, I'll leave this. I don't need that. I don't need this. I keep everything else. River was also a plus storytelling when it was all laid out. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Like your solution of Ruth is Susan." That's another thing. Like they they're never, ever gonna have Susan come back ever in the history of ever and I feel like that's such a wasted opportunity you know because it's Susan why wouldn't you bring back Susan she still she's met she's met like other versions of the doctor in big finish like she's she's got to be still alive, not in the same regeneration, of course, but still alive nonetheless. It's such a wasted opportunity to not bring her back. Oh, Caroline Ford. Yeah, yeah, she's still alive. She's done stuff with Big Finish. She's done Big Finish stuff with with uh, with Paul McGann, and probably someone else. You need to listen more of the Big Finish stuff. I, I do want to listen to more Big Finish stuff when I'm working. I'll, I'll actually get to buy some Big Finish stuff. I want to follow their current Time Lord Victoria storyline. And I want to get the upcoming video game. I don't know if you've uh, seen I know I've shown Mild, but I don't know if you've seen it, Morgan. Their upcoming video game is looking pretty neat. It's starring uh, Jodie Whittaker uh, and also starring David Tennant. I think the thing with um, Whitaker's Doctor, and I won't get too in. I remember being intrigued by Richard E. Grant doing a few bits. Well, he was the Schalke Doctor, uh, Richard E. Grant. Years, years and years, decades even, before he was a great intelligence. Richard E. Grant was... <gasps> village! Richard E. Grant was the Schalke Doctor. Yeah, see, my old uh, recognized... I reckon, I reckon he probably posted that as I was saying, Schalke Doctor. Um, I'm gonna land on top of a of a house so I can keep this safe or somewhat safe. Richard E. Grant was village. Yeah, he was the village doctor. Uh, it didn't pan out. Right, we've landed. He did the Shalka Doctor, um, and then when when the series was revived, uh, Hugh Grant actually was approached to be the ninth Doctor, but he rejected it because he whoopsie, because he didn't think the show would um, pan out. Right, guys. Here's the thing. There's a reason why I immediately went to this village. Um, Zygons, they disguise themselves as poor villagers. And poor villagers ra regularly wear green. So if we see... Oh, look, Santarans. 
don't like Hugh Grant as the ninth doctor. Yeah, he was approached and he rejected it because yeah, I, oh, the show's not not gonna pan out. And he's since then he's uh, expressed regret. I'm like, of course you did, you dumbass. Uh, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been good as the ninth doctor, if if the idea for the character was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a new game coming. Said to be released, I believe 2021, was was when they said. It looks it looks kind of neat. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna put the TARDIS inside so it's safe. Because I don't trust. You know? You know what I mean? Hello. What do you want? Okay. One emerald. No, I don't want... I don't want emeralds. I want you to buy my shit. What are you on? Some Doctor Who stuff yourself? Ooh. Is that another temple? Cool. Just found another temple. Is that a Santaran? That's a Santaran over there. Hello. Hi. Look like at that monster wanted out. Now that monster wanted in. <laughs> right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take some carrots and some taters if so I can replant them at home. Better let them in. Nah, I'm good. Remind me to go to that temple chat, please. Um, what time is it? Oh, this fits. I wish I could make it day by going in the TARDIS. Wait, that used to be a thing, didn't it? Make it day by going in the TARDIS. Right? Your wrestling adult, adult brain was always wanted to run a who based story as a feud and really was a sonic screwdriver. I mean, uh, Shikara did a, a time travel storyline. Right? Companions. No. Waypoints, green circuit. Rotate TARDIS. No. I wish I could make it day, though. A regenerating wrestler. Oh. What's that? The hell is this? Oh. Oh. Can I open it? Uh, no. <laughs> Doctor even, yeah. What do I have back here? Anything cool? Nope. Oh. What? What is this? Is this meant to be like a lamp? Sad O's in chat. <laughs> Can we not make O a recurring <laughs> joke? <laughs> Because otherwise I'm going to have to make my second emote. Oh. How many channel points do you need to have a new, a new emote, by the way? Oh. Please don't make me call this episode Oh. 15 sub points? Okay. And where does one check their sub points? For future reference actually hold on i'm being stupid i'm being like actual stupid and once you got it you can't, they can't take it back oh what's this add a sticky note oh i can add a sticky note look at that how do i take it out how do i take it out uh um whoopsie um Uh Oh. 
There we go. We got a sticky note. Who else? Oh, I'm sorry. Got scared. Oh! That was a Santarn. Uh, oh, taters. I saw some fig trees. Are those jungle fig trees? Nope. Horses on a house? Interesting. Guys, I wasn't a Zygon. <clears throat> Guys, I was just a poor villager. Guys, I wasn't a Zygon. Why'd you have me kill him? What? Psht. Hey. No attacking the TARDIS. There's another village. There is an actual other village. Add. Woods. Village. Because then I can trade with these guys. And then we're going to select home. And we're going to go there. Whoa. Hi. Cool. Hello, friends. I have saved you. I have made it daytime and thus saved you from the evil. I am your friend. Do you have a green cloaked <laughs> friend among you? Hello? No? Okay. Oh my god, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. <gasps> Zygon! Zygons! Fuck you. Zygons! 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 Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in it. Come on. Yeah, get me in. Yes, 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 yes. Woods Village. Let's go. Come on. Give me the flight panel. Okay. That's the Zygon. I found the Zygons, guys. Oh, that's brilliant. Hello. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, it's not you. It's you. Hello. Saigon Tank. Ooh! Another one. Yes! Anyway. I'm very hype about that murder. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's where the other village was. Let's just go this way. What did you miss? We got two Zygon tongues. Ah, oh, you missed out on the Zygons. Ah, oh, you didn't see the Zygons. Big rubbery things. Very spooky boys are the Zygons. I don't know what uh, what the Zygon tongue is for, but I think it could have to do with the regeneration uh, elixir. Um, is that just a bunch of gravel? It's weird. With the with the potion of regeneration. Mine is set to Minecraft. No, it's set to Minecraft now. Mild uh, corrected his mistake of not setting the game. Clearly not my mistake. I would never. <laughs> I would never make that mistake. <laughs> 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 I 
My old best mod. Eh, he's alright. But let me tell you about this wild sparrow guy who never forgets to set games for other streamers' uh, streams. He never forgets to set games. So clearly, he is number one streamer boy. Number one mod. You remember do it yourself? Clearly you don't. Cause yeah, yeah, just didn't. Yeah no. So that's that's my story. Oh the fun we have. Could you go any faster or like do you sprint? Oh you do sprint. Oh there's a sprint button for the TARDIS guys. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Wait, do you also move faster in one spot? No. I was wondering if it would rotate faster in one spot too. I'm actually not able to spot anything like this. <laughs> Flower biome, cool. If I want bees. No wait, they're not in, the, in this version of the game, just realized. Look at this shit. That's just one tall ass tower, look at that. And why do I always find them at night? What am I gonna do with the jungle? Now I'm gonna try and find some cocoa beans and some melons. Which I just did. Right, and... No. Wait, I need to turn the right way. Yeah. Right. Uh, we are going to save this waypoint. Add. Ju whoopsie. Jungle. Save. Oh, look at all these melons. Oh, I'm going to get so many. Oh, look at all these melons I'm going to get. I'm going to get so many melons. Y'all don't even know how many melons I'm gonna get. They're really good for recipes as well. The the glistering melon it also helps with the elixir of life. That's also why I wanted to. No 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 not in front of my TARDIS. No yet no you don't. Ah uh ah. -uh. Can't touch this. Hmm. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, please, 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 please don't. Do not. Ooh. Ooh, I need to go. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Dematerialize. Oh, health one. Oh my god. Oh, that is dangerous. Okay. Waypoint home. Select. It's okay. We can just come back to the jungle now. Drifted. Can I repair it? Of course. I just need to get it to land. Is it where I wanted it? No. I need it to land exactly there. Okay. Not enough space to enter flight. Okay. Where am I? That's not too far. Okay, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I just need to real quick. Oh no, that's not what I want. 
Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay. Nope. Oh no. Okay. Just. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Let's try this one last time. If it doesn't work, we'll just use the key. I don't know where we are. I do not know. That's fair enough. Okay. This is, yeah, this is not ideal at all, this situation. Where am I? Okay. Because if we can get the TARDIS on our Zaitan block, then we'll be fine. And it, it, it will regenerate health a lot faster. Okay, there we go. Right. We can consider that a win. Which means this episode will not be called what I had originally planned. But we do have a better title already lined up. I originally had planned to call it the Hall of the Doctor because we were meant to finish it or at least plant the statues here. Uh, but of course that couldn't happen, which means it'll now be called uh, something else you'll see once the episode is out. It's already regenerating health, that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to leave the TARDIS to re regenerate more health. Um, thankfully it's on a Zaiton block now, so it should be a lot easier now. We will wrap up the episode. By the way, if we had lost that TARDIS, we would have lost everything in that chest. Um, we're going to wrap up the episode, guys. Thank you so much for what? Is that a gold armor zombie? Huh. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I will see you all in the YouTube people uh, next time. Bye-bye.